Hello, and welcome back to Mythic Ocean! I was supposed to talk about this two episodes ago, but I completely forgot. But I took a screenshot of this! The cipher! Uh, well, the uh, substitution cipher, the like weird text here. When I was reading this, I looked at it for like a couple seconds and went, Oh, this might be a substitution cipher. Eh, maybe not, I don't know, and then just passed it by. But then in editing, I looked a little closer, and it's actually quite easy to figure out some of these. And many of the uh, the letters just look almost like the normal alphabet as well. So I haven't checked all of these, but I've figured out quite a few. So like if you look here, thorax, you can just see it says thorax and it points at the thorax. And this was the one I first figured out. That was what like started it all. I didn't even notice how similar some of these look. But this one has three dots, and then later on comes one that's exactly the same, but it has two dots. What does that remind you of in the alphabet? An M and an N. So this one, M, N, and then this one just looks like an A, so man, and then I just figured out, oh, mandible, or mandibles, if this is an S, which it turns out it is. So basically, you can just like figure out by just looking and thinking logically what pretty much all of this means. So, this is mandibles, this is gills, that basically just says it. This is, uh, oh, what was this again? Uh, this is antenna, and this one, let's see, do I have that letter somewhere else? Here, A, M, E, S, O, Omes? Oh, abdomen. Not, why did I say Omes? Abdomen. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's a D. So, D, E, N, Den, D. Hold on, one moment, I need to think about this. Yeah, I think it says dendrite. I don't even really know what dendrite are, but I guess... They're those. So yeah, that's that's an R, and that's in, in here as well. Thorax, abdomen, uh, spines. I think this must say. Or wait, no, that's S E T A S. Cetus? What? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what that means. Maybe that is a word. Here, uh. That must be O, yeah, from Thorax. God, I wish I could zoom in even more. Can I not? Nope. Can't. Well, let's look at this one, I guess. That letter... I don't know, but that's uh, an R? R-O... No, I'm, I'm struggling here. This one, I think, if this is like an I, similar to that and that, it might be like a capital I, though I'm not even sure. That doesn't seem to be a thing. But if it's not I, I don't know, but it's I-R-O-L-E-G-S. So, Eero legs? Iro legs? I don't even know. Or something else. Blank row legs. Whatever that could mean. And this one, I just, I don't know. Is this an E, like here? And if so, then what's, what's it doing? Like, it's almost combining... With that, I, I don't really know, but O, something, maybe E, and then L-L-I? I, I don't know, something relating to eyes or whatever. Can't really tell. But anyway, this was just a minor thing. I just thought it was kind of fun that you can actually just look at this text and figure it out. So, if I ever see more of this text somewhere, that would be kind of interesting, then uh, perhaps we can try and decipher some of it. I don't remember if I've seen any of these letters before anywhere, like in the old library at the start of the game or something. No clue. But, as I said, I just wanted to mention it two episodes ago and then I never ended up doing that, so uh, let's just continue on where we were. And where were we? We had just talked to uh, Amar about Amar's thoughts and feelings and we have new pages in Coral Reef. So let's go to the Coral Reef to begin with and do some reading.
I also may or may not need to do some sneezing imminently. Yeah, two more pages, and that should be all of the pages once I'm done with that. I think the sneeze is passing. In here, perhaps? No? Ah, right there. That's an obvious one. Isn't that where I could get stuck completely? Oh, right there. That's not too hidden. Era 6, Section 2. Why do I keep finding the second one first? I don't even know. Aftermath. I'm still trying to process what I've discovered. I ask the creator if this all seems ethical to them. The mortals in the secret place are there because they endangered our society. I could have killed or imprisoned them, but this allows them to remain productive. Many of them are thankful. They consider the, this work their calling. I ponder this and realize I don't have a response. So it's like, the the people that do wrong get sent to this place to just work forever, or get like their energy drained or whatever it was, and some of them have come to accept that, oh yeah, this is fair, this is, you know, what we're meant to do, and I guess according to some it's better than death or whatever, so yeah, that's kind of interesting, I wonder... If we'll find out, like, who the old god was? Like, is this Elil? And is this why Elil is no longer a god or something? Because he pulled this shit and then everyone rebelled? I don't know. But yeah, let's see if we can find the last one. The last page. It's probably up here somewhere, I would imagine. Maybe just up on the surface? Maybe? Or like, over here? There was one here before, I think. So that's not it. Ooh, this might be something? No. Kind of a little secret place though. You can't, like, you can't swim up here, can you? No. Not really. No, you can't go above the water. And in here, we checked earlier. Oh, there it is. Well, that's very close to... The previous one that was there before. Yay, there we go. Lore Master. Hello? Guess not. Okay. Lore Master, collect 18 pa- That's interesting that it says collect 18 pages. It doesn't say collect all 18 pages, but... I'm assuming they mean all 18 pages, surely. Era 6, Section 1, The Mainframe. I asked the creator about the purpose of the secret place. They say it's a living machine. Is it a living machine or a living machine? A problem-solving system. It was created to run an endless series of simulations. Wow, everyone's being like Bitcoin mined. Like their own bodies are being used to process like Bitcoin. Holy shit. It was created to run an endless series of simulations to find new, better ways of governing societies to solve the infinite mysteries of the universe. Huh. So maybe the... the final god that has one fable is the previous god or something. Though actually, this sounds more like something Alethia would do, but I don't know. All day long, this massive network built from organic minds is calculating, researching, testing hypotheses all in an effort to answer these questions. It could have been done with artificial brains, the creator says, but the unique perspectives each mortal brings to the system are invaluable. So yeah, they don't really care about ethics. That really does sound like Alethia to me. Like, not the Alethia we know, but it sounds like what Alethia could be or something. 
if you push her in that direction, I suppose. But yeah, there we go. That's all of the pages, and now we just have Alethia left to go to, so sure, let's go there. And nothing else happening over here. The whale is still swimming happily. Yeah, I was going to close the shutters, but never mind. Good to see you again. Anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, yeah. Okay, did you find any connections between the samples and the signals from the deep ocean? As a matter of fact, yes. All my tests suggest that the signals and the organic debris came from the same place on the ocean floor. Wait, so Lutra? Or what do you mean organic debris? Do you mean organic debris here from the mid-seas? I believe some kind of electromagnetic pulse occurred down there, sending the signals and debris, debris far and wide. My readings also indicate that whatever the source is, it's capable of generating... HUGE AMOUNTS OF ENERGY! Such a power supply would be indispensable if I could harness it. It might just be the breakthrough I need. Uh... What's your next step? Why do you need, need all that energy? I wanna ask that. I thought you might ask, and I can't blame you. I'd be curious too. But in order to give you an answer, I need to explain a few things. You may have wondered why I'm so driven in my research. There are wondrous things here in the ocean, yes, but there's more to it than that. Have you ever noticed that our world almost never changes? Think about the kelp forest, or the coral reef. These places are exactly as they've always been. But are they though? Like if I didn't, I mean I guess that's the thing, maybe if I didn't intervene with Lutra it would still be fine and everything would have been how they've always been. No one can remember a time when things were different. And no one ever leaves. I fear we are all trapped here in a sort of endless dream or illusion. If there's a purpose to this place, none of my research has given me any clue so far. I want to learn the truth about the ocean, my friend. I have plans now for an overhaul of this lab that will vastly increase my da data gathering capabilities. But the new energy demands will far outstrip what the solar sail can currently provide. Can't you, like, harness the ocean? The currents or something? So that's why you need this energy source in the depths. Correct. You might recall that your teleporter is one of my old prototypes. I could modify it to enable transport to the energy source. Oh, I know its exact coordinates from tracing the signals during my studies. If you might be willing to help me, perhaps you could investigate the source and report back with what you find. It's a big ask, I know, like why aren't you doing that? But with your help, I could get so much done on my equipment upgrades in the meantime. What do you say? Oh boy. It You don't have an option to just say, no, I don't want to do it. Like, this sounds like you're going to be, oh, that sounds dangerous, but then you'll still do it eventually anyway. It doesn't seem like there's something you can do to not have this happen. I mean, I don't want to just say, sounds good, I'm in, but... I don't know. I might say this one, because, like, shouldn't you do something else that is less risky first or something? I don't know. Let's say that. Ha, huh, I suppose it's a bit risky, but I do dangerous things in the name of science all the time. You won't find the answers by playing it safe, I'm afraid. Is that true? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say I'll have to think about it for a second. I understand. Take your time, then. Shall we talk about something else? And that's it. Yeah, you don't really have a choice, I think. I don't believe... Oh, but Elil has more stuff now. Okay. That might actually be kind of a, a fun thing. If we go to Elil first, then maybe that will be about the time to end the episode on a cliffhanger. And then we'll check that out next time, because I'm not sure if... Maybe if I go there now, it's gonna be like a major thing, and that might be even worse, just cutting it off after like five minutes or whatever. We'll see. 
I'm just gonna check in with Elil since there is stuff to do here. Maybe you can like talk to Elil and say she's trying to get me killed. Yep. Okay. Seems like Alethia is starting to figure out how this all works. Wait. What do you mean? Like, am I playing it dumb and trying to like not give her clues, or what's happening? Got any thoughts on that? Yeah, that happens every time. Don't worry, she won't actually get to the bottom of it. She never does. Wow! Wow, that's pretty tragic. Are you sure there's no chance she could find a way out? Uh... I, I wonder, like, how is this going to be phrased? Because I'm more curious, like, maybe she can do it. Not, like, are you sure it's safe that she won't manage to do that? Because like, we don't want her to do that. That's not what I want to say, but, like... I'll say this, I think. I mean, I've never seen it happen, which makes it very likely that it's impossible. I don't know for sure, buddy, but I feel like certain outcomes in this place are just off limits. See, that's that kind of reinforces the whole uh, lack of choice thing that I'm talking about. Not lack of choice, but like, to me it seems like quite a few of these things probably will happen regardless of what you do, which makes it kind of less interesting from a gameplay perspective, but we'll have to see about that in repeat playthroughs, as I keep saying. They should be possible, but someone made it so they wouldn't be. That's an eerie thought. Yeah, it's just a hunch. I'll probably never know if it's true or not. Eh. And that's it. Okay. Well, damn. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's kind of, I'm thinking it over. Now I kind of ruined it even more. Now I guess we don't have anywhere else to go except to Alethia again. So, fine. We'll actually do the thing and we'll see how long it is. I might have to like cut it off in the middle of it, but we'll, we will take a peek in there. I'll help you investigate the energy source. Splendid, I'm so glad to hear it. I'll modify your teleporter right away. It'll only take a moment. I'm gonna be like in the middle of a dark fucking abyss and there's gonna be a giant tentacle god, eldritch demon god thing in front of me, right? There, all set. I've outfitted the teleporter with some basic data sensors as well, so we can examine those readings when you get back. Thank you, my friend. I can't wait to hear about your findings. Great! And... Yep, now I can go there. And I mean, I can't just like swim down. Okay, here we go. No cliffhanger. Let's do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I mean, I'm assuming if I swim like back. Oh, yeah, it's like. Never mind. I was gonna say it's taking me forward, but that's because I'm holding shift, and that just does that. Yeah, can't go back here. Alright. I assume there's only one way to go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man! Aha! Okay, well, it is a tentacle monster with a giant eyeball. I kind of called it, but I mean, I guess that was sort of obvious from the little scribble. At last, you have found me again. As always, you do not remember who I am. Allow me to remind you. I am Gnosis. Gnosis? I don't even know. And I am glad you've returned. There is much to discuss. Okay. Uh. Uh. Why don't I remember you? I think I want to say first. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. And he's also talking like telepathically like Lutra is. My meditations, which might mean that Lutra has something, some connection to this thing. My meditations here have allowed me to recover memories I once thought were lost but most of them remain broken and fragmented, for reasons I do not comprehend. 
I need more time, and perhaps more resources to repair the rest. Okay, I... How do you know me? We have met before countless times. I do not remember most of these en encounters. You do not recall any. This is how it happens each and every time. Okay, and finally, I came here looking for an energy source. Yes, I know. I myself am the energy source Alethia seeks. The radiation and charged debris she analyzed were scattered by my awakening. I see, that's awkward. How do you feel about Alethia studying you? For me, it is a curiosity, nothing more. It is highly unlikely she will find a way to harness my power, so her research does not worry me. Well then, now that we are reacquainted, I expect you wish to return to Alethia. You will have much to report, will I? But in the future, there may be a way you can assist me in recovering my memories. I'm still considering this. I will notify you when I've reached my conclusion. Is this, like, about New Game Plus and stuff? Doing things over and over? Coming to this guy and, like, actually remembering stuff? That would be interesting if that's a mechanic. Alright, I'll keep an eye out. I'm very, like, just nonchalant and laid back about this, my character. Good, we shall speak again soon. Bye, guy. Oh. Oh. Can I, like, uh, oh no, you're being blocked here. I can't go any further forward. Welcome back. What would you like to discuss? I think I'll be going now. I see, farewell then. And now he, like, pushed me back even further. And what if I, uh, go up? Probably can't go up too far. I'm just gonna hold this. Oh, man, it's hard to see. Am I even going up? I think I am, yeah? I'm not moving the mouse at all. I'm just holding E to go up. Okay, I'm gonna... Aim down a bit and see if I keep going up. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still going up. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm just, like, being coasted along an invisible wall. Okay, never mind. Well, I mean, I might as well end it off here before we go back to Alethia. So, there we go. Giant Cthulhu, guy. Glad to meet him. Where is this gonna go? And will something actually change this loop? Because I'm in control, not past me, I guess. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!